pull out a strip of masking tape which marks out a border at the left side of the paper. Pull out a strip of masking tape which marks out a border at the bottom side of the paper. Pull the paper down so it covers the masking tape and lines up on the top of the border. Pull out a strip of masking tape which marks out a border at the right side of the paper. Pull out a strip of masking tape which marks out a border at the top side of the paper. Monoprinting is a type of printmaking where the intent is to make a unique individual print rather than printing multiple copies of the same image. Monoprints are known as the most painterly method among the printmaking techniques. It is essentially a printed painting. The characteristic of this method is that no two prints are alike. The beauty of this method is also its spontaneity and its combination of printmaking, painting and drawing media. What does the term spontaneity mean? Printmaking techniques which can be used to make monoprints include lithography, woodcut and etching. You only need to use a small amount of ink for your monoprint. I used more than I needed to. Roll the brayer back and forth to create a thin, even layer of ink. When the ink makes a hissing noise, this will tell you that your ink is the right consistency. What does the term consistency mean? Why do we want the ink to have a correct consistency? Remove the masking tape to leave a sharp edge around the ink. Place another piece of paper on the ink and image to trace. Pull the paper away to reveal the excess ink. Place another piece of paper on the ink and image to trace. Put masking tape over the corners so the paper doesn't move. Trace over your image using a biro. Check over your work.
Carefully peel the top paper of the ink surface to reveal your mono print. You will see the transferred ink and marks on the new paper. Admire your unique mono print. If you want to make additional prints, you might need to re-ink the surface before repeating the process.